Searching through the city. Hello there. Oh. Pierce. Sacre bloom. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. <laughs> excuse me. There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Hmm. I have quite a bit of money. I probably need a mask, don't I? I already got a mask, so... That's the same. I'm... No, I know I have a pair of those, but... Yeah. Elegant. That's good for me. Now I need to get a haircut. Thanks. I think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant, sir. Oh, gotta take the gauntlets off too. <laughs> Just to make it full on. Put this kind of in organization there. Yep. Looking like a badass girl. Okay, so now while I'm here, I'm going to look for a... something to cut my damn hair. Got a bunch of side quests. <sighs> and of course it's over there. Alright. First. <sighs> Gonna jump off like a dumbass after I save. Boom. Just so you know, I spam uh, space to land that, oh. if you don't know. Because normally you just die a burning death doing that. Fuck. What the f- I'm gonna run now, you were a scary bitch. Yelling at me. What the hell? What the? No two ways about it. What did I do to her? All is in order. Was was that her horny growl? She's like, mm, I want that dick. That white your dick. That's probably what it was. That's most likely what it was. Yep. She wanted the Witcher D. The Geralt Junior. Chimpanta? Welcome, my good sir. Need a bit of grooming. Need a bit of grooming. Here's uncut. So gather tied behind the head. Oh fuck! I did the wrong one. That's disgusting. There you are.
Now you look like the girl I know. My time's up. So long. He looks ten times older. Jeez. Updated what? What did I miss? Did I do something wrong? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. All right. Ultra better. Uh, might as well go over here and get that notice board. I'm, I'm gonna do all those side quests probably solo. Oh. Um, it's because I keep double clicking. Oh. Might be worth looking into. Oh, Fist of Furry, right? You can get a lot of gold from doing that. I'll do that later. Late. Now, why does that not surprise me? Probably should have de my weapons, huh? such a sense of style not all bad nothing like a budding artist of course but just one other detail here put it on a mask all who attend the mandragora soiree wear them if you have one on no one asks who you are i don't need to know why let's go soiree started mm-hmm Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. Yeah, I, totally. That was so wise of me. How do we find the Cintrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come. It's our turn. See, I changed my hair Madame and now I have a go see, so. An extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont. A singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. A shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. 
All right. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. <laughs> yeah. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Do you fear taking a bath? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> That's so mean. Please do not disturb. Fuck you. Geralt, be bold. Show us the artist in you. The paint boys. Cast them at the canvas. Fine. Discover your artistic soul. Good folk. Yes, I should be tired of these hues. Drop them in the pail and grab a different... Paradise, paradise. What? What am I doing? Okay. Oh, I see. Quite the noble Splendid. The sky over Toussaint before a storm. Or a deeply internalized fear of intimacy. Tricks you guys. It's not a landscape you pleb. It's a manifestation of the man's soul. Beautiful. Should you tire of these hues, drop them in the pail and that green. Lush and verdant as a field of vines. To vines! I did have a plan, but now I'm just kind of throwing shit. Beautiful now. I need to throw more. Should you tire of these hues, drop them in the pail and grab a different array. Greetings, Witcher. This <clears throat> That is one gripe I have about this game is that it's hard to select the item that I want. Voila! Fine. Now, allow me a moment to ponder. My appraisal? The painting depicts spiritual dualism, the continual battle between good and evil, and defiance. <laughs> oh yes, that's him all right. Good versus evil, the dualistic nature of man. <laughs> defiance. Very true. A true talent paints like absinthe, the preferred hooch of artists. Careful, it packs a pretty powerful punch. I've built up a pretty powerful resistance. <laughs> sure about that, girl? You're getting tipsy on me. Yeah, you sure, damn. Your boards, as you've made no efforts to understand, it's a metaphor of the constant struggle for power and influence. A metaphor? What else will they think of? If they can't agree, is that all they're gonna do? That's boring. Yep, I have feelings there. Let's check out all this all these items. I really want to jump down there and mess it up for him. Ha, <laughs> he is a magician. Ah, how beautiful. 
Is the dolphins. That is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Let's just go. Anna. Look, lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Well, let's release all of them. Fine. Let's give it a try. Never suspected you believed in such things. Damn it. I wanted to shoot with my crossbow. <laughs> okay, then. There's just those mines over there. Let's see what Anna will say when we look at them. I think we're too close to them. There you are, Anna. Come on. It's okay. Come on over. Fine, whatever. Let's go check this area out. First try. Hold up. Ooh. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Kaviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Small talk. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me. I, I've heard Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think you may still get your chance. <laughs> I want to see that. We came here to meet you specifically. To meet me? But why? Centrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Centrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark. Masked? Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Man, I'm gonna have to... Blur a lot of titties. Well, just her titties, but... <sighs> oh well. Eh. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. No way. Someone beat him once. I'm guessing you, Anna. 